Welcome to another progress report for the Foundation. Some things came up for me this weekend and it made my dev week shorter than I would have liked. But I still got quite a few things done that I'd like to show you today. First of all, I managed to get an audio solution integrated into the game. If I raise the volume here, you can tell that there is some background music that's going on. I also have sound effects, like I found a good one for the nuclear bomb. Unfortunately, there are some really deal-breaking issues with the audio solution right now that are driving me nuts, and the uh, devs for it swear that they can't reproduce it, but it's reproducible in every situation for me, so I'm trying to work through it. Hopefully it'll uh, work through just fine. So the other thing is I'm doing a lot of rearranging to the UI in order to prepare for the new base screen that I'm implementing. This is going to be great because it's going to reduce the perceived complexity of the UI. And what I mean by that is if you look at uh, these tabs that I pop out, there's a lot less tabs here. In fact, the tabs on the left is probably about the number of tabs there will be um, in the long run. And this is, this is great because there's less things to keep track of on the screen, less things to click through on the screen. It, it makes it seem a lot less overwhelming and complex. And the more I work with these things, the more I might start combining more and more of them together to reduce just the overwhelming mass of options that this game is starting to spawn. And I don't want to dumb it down too much, but I want to make sure that it doesn't scare people away. <laughs> By moving some of these icons into the base view, you can see that this is a much more manageable set of buttons to look through. So as far as the color earth goes to, it was just easier to use it this way for now. I still probably am just going to make it a toggleable option, at least until after the tech demo, so that people can look at both, see what they think, move it around, play with it, and decide which one's better. All right. So then as far as the uh, bases, I actually started working on the transition to move to this base view. And so it's pretty ugly so far, but you'll be able to see how it goes. So when someone clicks the edit button, which is on the name, we'll have this transition and it'll look a lot nicer without the terrible, terrible fog and obvious edges and borders. I just haven't had very much time to work on it this week, but this is what we've got. And down below you can see the uh, regular uh, base view that was demoed in the very beginning. I've managed to clip it in and tie it in with this terrain. I'm having a few bugs with my camera right now, so I locked it in place so that it wouldn't uh, be all funky for now. But all the same uh, features and behaviors are still here. You can see I can still build things. Whatever I want to build here, I can build. So that functionality is there, and I'm working on making a top layer so you can build above ground facilities, runways, uh, guard towers, bunkers, um, above ground research centers, whatever you want to build, I'm going to try and do that. And hopefully this terrain, I'll be able to adjust it so that every base you get will have a slightly different uh, terrain. Hopefully based off of what grid area it is in the world. So if the, a grid area is marked as a desert, you'll get kind of a deserty map. In the Arctic, you'll get an Arctic map. But that's a little bit uh, down the road. Something I'm working on and I've been building a lot of things into. Here you can see, if I open these, you can see some of the stuff that got moved to the base view. Personnel, uh, task forces, research, manufacturing, and this is creating new research projects because the research teams are located at the base and the SCPs are located at the base. So it made sense for the research options to start new projects would be located here. However, the research reports will be accessible from any point because you might want to look through how you're progressing in your research while you're in the global screen without going to each individual base. Uh, another thing that I worked on is that I actually managed to get that 3D guy thing working. And so I got this ugly free SWAT guy model here. And so you can see that uh, he's spinning around happily to show that he's 3D in the menu. And so once I get more of the particulars, uh, 
worked out and get the screen more fleshed out, you'll be able to uh, see the changes in your guy in real time as you equip different weapons and things. It, it'll hopefully show up as what he's equipped with. So that was a fun thing to finally get working. And I was pretty happy about that. So, even though I was really annoyed this week with how little time I had, this uh, should be some really exciting things to see progressing in the game. And some hints towards what I'm working towards with the base construction and the 3D guy spinning around over there, things like that. Some good hints as to the things I'm working towards. Hopefully next week I will be over this nightmarish uh, sound issue that I'm having with my plugin. And we'll get more of this fleshed out, looking nice. I improve a few pieces of UI as well. And in general, just start getting this transition finished out. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking already. But there's a, there's a long way to go to get it professional. But I think I like the direction it's heading. So be sure to give me feedback on that transition effect. I'm going, going to do as much as I can to get rid of the seams so that it kind of just looks like a fluid zoom in action onto the landscape. But let me know if you think that works or if I should take it another direction. And as, as well, anything else that I've showed in this video. So I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.